Hello everyone, welcome back again. Okay. This is a new course you'll be doing on Julia, only on Julia for the, that is the basics of Julia. So I'm Jesse and I'll now be taking you throughout this. So we'll be starting first of all from scratch. So Julia is more of a dynamic programming language. This is the official website. So you can download it from here and install it. So it's more of a combination or it combines the both worlds of Python, of C, of R and Fortran. So I can benefit from all of them. So upon installing, you you will see they will, it, it comes with its command line version. This is the tool that you can be running on it. But I've already installed it here, so we'll be starting to it. There's a video tutorial on how to include it in your path so that you can run it from every place you are in your command prompt. Okay, so first of all, let's start with a variable. In Julia, a variable is any number, is a name that you assign to a value. So it can be an alphabet, it can be a number, it can be a set of string, okay. it can be a string. So that is a, a variable. So you have a value and you're assigning it to this name variable. That is a variable. So usually variables are used to store data. So apart from that too, variable can be anything. It can be even a character. Like a character is this can be a character. So this is a variable. So one way we can check whether this is actually a variable is giving type of then the name of the variable then going to to is a character because it's there's a character. Okay. Another thing about Julia is that Julia also supports concerning the naming of of the variables. It's supposed to start with an alphabet or an underscore or a unicode. So this is the rule this, this this is the actual rule for naming a variable. So for example if I have something like this second is called to error it's not going to work because Julia doesn't support naming a variable with beginning with a number but you can do it with an, an underscore this is going to be correct it's going to work for you you can do it with a capital letter let's say second it's going to work for you so you can assign any value so let's say let you say we have f then one is going to work perfectly for you so a variable can be a single alphabet which is assigned to a certain, a certain value or data set okay so that is how one thing about variables and then also julia supports variables as strings so let's say a variable example as a string so in Julia, that is how we name a variable string. It's supposed to be in single, it's supposed to be in double quote rather. But a character string is supposed to be in a character in Julia must always be in a single quote. So like this D, this is going to be a character. If I put it in a double quote, the, so one way you can check whether it's actually a the character is using the type of as I've already done it. So that's going to tell me it's a character. If I put this one into double quotes, it's not going to be a character anymore. It's going to be it's going to be a string. So if I check again, it's telling me that it's a string. So you should notice that in Julia characters are in single quotes but a set of strings or any variable you are storing must be in a string format so this is a string double quotes and the character is a single quote also one thing one nice thing about julia is that julia also supports auto completion so for example i have, I have this variable example right so if i want to check for the length of it the length the moment i start typing variable and i go with tab it's going to auto complete it for me, so that is quite nice. But in Julia, we'll be learning about all these functions later on in Julia. Okay, so these are the basic rules for variables. Also, Julia also supports the Unicode format, whereby you bring the bus uh, score or that a back score or forward score. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Okay, then for example, if you have alpha, then you click on the tab, 
is going to turn it for you so that you can also have this as a, as a variable and then let's say you are going to store like 130 right so if i go to check the type of of this the moment i click on the same format like alpha then in terms there's an integer 64 the reason this one is 64 is because this operating system is 64 and this is an integer that is quite nice about it also so there are also inbuilt uh, ways which are stored perfectly for julia they are, they are predefined ways for example for if while all these ways else all these ways are already inbuilt once like set they are already inbuilt so you can't use them for as a variable although you can use them but it's preferred that you don't use them at all you can use something different so thank you for watching and i hope you have learned something in this aspect of variables and please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching again